Sky Drone 5 moving along a crucial seawall in San Francisco. It needs major upgrades before the next big earthquake strikes. The Embarcadero seawall extends for three miles from Fisherman's Wharf to Mission Creek. And until it's fixed, a large part of the city is at risk. KPI x Emily Turner on the new push to secure a steady stream of money for those repairs. It's not fancy or in the public eye, but the San Francisco seawall is one of the city's most vital pieces of infrastructure, and it's slowly sinking into disrepair. This is at the top of the list. A group of politicians is proposing a new bill that would send up to $250 million its way for a massive renovation project, one the city says is imperative to its safety. It's imperative that we protect this asset, not just for San Francisco, but for the Bay and for our California economy. The seawall was built more than 100 years ago, and it was built on unsteady ground. Behind it is all infill, and on that, about $100 billion worth of assets. That includes the waterfront and the entirety of the financial district. This is really about two realities of life, uh, sea level rise uh, and earthquakes. Uh, and as much as we want to wish them all away, we can't. The entire project will take $5 billion and likely generations to complete. But this state bill would siphon state tax revenue from schools to the project. The school fund would then be reimbursed by the state. If passed, the money this would raise would be enough to fund half of phase one. This is about planning for the future of our city. It is about infrastructure and is making sure that our city is resilient when the next earthquake hits. This will be on the ballot in the fall, and if passed, it has a lifespan of 45 years. And that $250 million that it could raise, well, that would fund essentially half of phase one of this seawall project. On the Embarcadero, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.